What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be analysing the world's top 10 ranked players in eFootball 2024. Their player selection, their team selection, their tactics, their individual instructions, a couple of tips and tricks and also a deep dive into why they're playing the game the way they're playing it, what the current meta is and why it works if you want to get more wins. So let's roll it. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. All right, boys. So let's get straight into it. We are on the PlayStation Network. We're going to be using that as our platform. That's what we play on. We're going to be going from rank 1 to rank 10 or rank 10 to rank 1. We're going to start with rank 10. And this is going to be a mixture of players, right? And you're also going to see... Just wait till the end of the video because I'm going to wrap this up in a nice little bow for you as to why people are playing the game the way they're playing. This is the current meta we're going to talk about as well, right? First team up, 4-2-2-2. You've got a double AMF with one single CMF and one single DMF and then your three centre backs with two strikers up top. You've got one ball winning striker and you've got one all-rounder speed demon, right? Wambasaka as a defensive right back. We're going to go into this in a little bit more depth as well, right? And also, keep an eye on the manager. We're on manager watch as well. How many people are going to use Alonso? How many do you think? How many do you guys think? Why are they using Alonso? We'll get into that as well, right? But honestly, this is a very solid team. Kaka and Messi, Kaka and Iniesta, Kaka and Pedri. It doesn't really matter who you have. This is kind of the formation that you're going to be looking at. And this is going to kind of rear its head within the next nine players as well. Now, this is a more traditional 4-2-1-3 is definitely the main formation, I think, for meta with Alonso, which are three centre-backs, Borgomi, Tommy Yashu, and, of course, Araujo and Wambasaka in again making his second appearance. Single pivot DMF with De Jong as your all-rounder, Vieira as your blocker, Neymar as your creative link between your three boys up front. You've got pace, you've got power, you've got speed. Schmeichel in goals as well there, 103 overall. And again, with Alonso, he's going to get the ultimate boost, right? So when we're looking at these squads, lads, right, there is a very kind of like repeating pattern as to why people are playing the game this way. And the meta at the moment really is depending on whether you attack through the middle or you attack out wide and go into the middle like the tip of an arrow uh, head, you do always come back to having the ball into the middle of the, of the pitch. It doesn't matter how wide you play. What goes up must come down, right? And what goes out must come in. That is basically eFootball at the moment. Borgomi, Tommy, Araujo and Wambasaka again with checking goals. You've got your double pivot this time with Vieira and De Jong. Alonso again, 4-2-2-2. Messi out wide with Honus. There's always going to be a little bit of variety in these, but the gameplay always comes back to it. And we'll get into that at the end of this video, kind of the individual instructions that these guys are using. Again, you've got rinse and repeat, double pivot, Bergomi, Tami Ashu, Araujo, and Basaka, Mbappe and Messi up front, Ribri and Zico as your two spreaders that are going to bring the ball in to the tip of that uh, arrowhead at the top or the tip of the spear. You're going to be trying to get that ball angled into Messi and Mbappe. And once you get it in there and you're a top class on the sticks, it's going to be game over for the majority of people that you're coming up against, right? Now, this is a bit of a change to the formation here. You still have your back four, which is going to be pretty much a back four CBs. You've got your three center back partnership with Tommy, Saliba, and Beckenbauer. Interestingly enough that you've got no destroyers in this, apart from Turam as the right back there, right? Davids is holding with Hollett as an AMF and Foden as a CMF. I definitely reckon there's a bit of gamesmanship going on here. There's probably changing a bit of bits, bits and pieces around. We'll get into that in the individual instructions as well. Again, we've gone back to the traditional four at the back, Araujo and Bergomi. Bergomi slotting in as a CB, but essentially he can play left back, right back, RCB. Same with Araujo, same with Maldini, same with Turam. A lot of variety there. Alonso again. Shevchenko, Rafa Leao and Messi. Two double pivot again with De Jong and making another appearance as a CMF. Now, why people are playing this way, right? Even the former rank number one, Turam, Tommy, Araujo, Borgomi, four center backs, very comfortable. Single pivot, Vieira, New Iniesta, Leao, Messi, Mbappe, De Jong again featuring as a CMF with Alonso, a 4-2-1-3 formation and a Czech uh, goalkeeper. This is kind of the meta, meta, meta. Why it works is because when you bring the play in narrow, that is where you're going to score more of your goal, most of your goals. Again, three center backs with Wambasaka as your defensive Double pivot. This is kind of the old school classic meta with Hollett, Rijkaard and Vieira as the main guys in there, right? Messi owned David Villa. And obviously that's going to come into fruition if you're getting the ball up to your main guys. Hollett can obviously hold the ball up from kickouts. He's a target man and he can push the ball forward. Um, we'll also finish off with rank two and rank one and then we'll get into a couple of analysis bits, a couple of data driven stuff. And lads, I kind of like the data bits uh, in this. This is a more uh, rank two with Philip Lamb and Kimmy. 
I would say there's a bit of a sub tactic going on here as well. I would say that Son and Sal are going to push up into a 4 2 1 3. And then obviously Kaka and Nedved are going to be Nedved and Davids in a, in a double pivot. Probably I would say as well that Lamb and Kimmich are going to be a little bit tighter with Cannavaro and Torem constricting in as well. But that is a more unusual one. Look at the collective strength, lads. 2 7 7 7. Anybody tell me in the comments why that is? Let me know. Tell me and I'll see your knowledge and we'll get into that in another video and maybe the live stream tomorrow. And then rank one back with the collective strength 3184. This is kind of the spider formation that a lot of people have started to use because they're looking at rank one and they're saying, why does this work? I would say essentially why this works is because you're still following the pattern of their four center backs that are very comfortable on the ball. You've got your stopper in Rodri, your all rounder in Schneider and Javi, and then Kiesa and Son with those double blitz curler beast feet that you're going to want and those curl shots. Shevchenko. Shevchenko is a guy that I haven't really rated too highly, but this new card and this new booster of him, his movement is fantastic if you get used to it. And I've seen people absolutely shred with this new Shevchenko as well. Son and Kiesa speak for themselves, right? But you look at the difference in the collective strength between rank one and rank two, and uh, you will ask yourself a couple of questions with the individual instructions, the sub tactics, how they're setting up, and a couple of mind games as well that people are coming in analyzing these guys and they're thinking, okay, how can I hold a few cards to my chest, right? Um, but before we go into the kind of setup and the build-up of showing you the current meta, that is the top 10 players in the game. They are the top 10 ranked on PlayStation. You've got the same types of players, the same types of systems falling up. And when you put it into actual data, right, and we analyze that data, and again, I'm a bit of a nerd for this type of thing um, because I do a lot of like data analysis and stuff in my job in real life, so it kind of ties in. Five of the 10 are using, of the top 10 are using Schmeichel. Three are using Czech, and then the two other top 10 are using Julio Cesar. For the defenders, seven of the squads are using Tommy Yasu, six are using Araujo, five Wambasaka, five Bergomi. Vieira, seven are using Vieira, six are using De Jong, and then two for Rijkaard and Davids. Each CAC is in there as well. And then up front, king of the pops, or top of the pops, is Messi. Six using Messi, different cards are being used, and Bappa with five, Shevchenko and Leao with three. So these are kind of the top picks that are going to be used by a majority of people. These, this is probably what you're coming up against, lads, to be honest with you, and you can swap in a few. Also, 10 out of the top 10 are using Jabi Alonso quick counter, with five of 10 using 4-2-1-3 as a formation, and three out of 10 using a 4-2-2-2. So 10 of them are using Jabi Alonso. That kind of really makes our analysis quite easy to construct and, and, and to, to, to deconstruct, I should say, um, as to why people are using Alonso. The reason why people are using Alonso is we're showing you here. I'm going to set up a team very, very basically here. I'm going to set up a team very simply. It doesn't really matter about the formation. It's more about what you're looking at doing with the individual instructions. And they, they kind of do speak for themselves. You're going to keep your defenders deep because Jabi Alonso at the rip or off his off his base default is going to be super high as you see here with his defensive line it's going to be a lot of front line pressure so you need to restrict your players from pushing forward deep line and defensive can do that or anchoring on your wide players or anchoring on your middle players not to leave gaps and spread out wide okay once you've that done you're going to be using the stats that are just completely overpowered and restricting your play and just driving the ball forward in very straight line arrows holding possession just enough to tie in a defender and then get rid of the ball and be on an attack. But it's all going to be about restricting those chances and not getting turned over in possession. That is what the current meta is, that is what the old meta was, and that is what the new meta will be. Don't give your opponent a chance to counter in this game because that is killer in the game. And that's why when people are using Xabi Alonso, you're basically attacking them with pure raw speed, power, and attacking prowess. You're looking to outscore your opponent. You're not looking to Jose Mourinho it and keep the ball at the back and, you know, play five at the back. You are basically not going to be using Alonso if you're that type of player. It's why I use Pep. I don't use Alonso at the moment because I like to throw the ball around and be a bit possessive with the ball and have a lot of possession. So that is kind of the top 10 ranked. That's a setup that you could try if you are struggling with the game at the moment with the individual instructions. If you have any more questions, I will get the answers to you. If you want in a follow-up video or on the live stream, don't forget to check us out. We stream every Monday, and Thursday, and Friday. Any more questions, get them in the comments below. Are you using Alonso? Or when you're looking at this data that you see here with the players being chosen, the manager being used, the formation that has been picked and selected, does this kind of ring true for what's working for you at the moment? I know there's anti-meta stuff as well, but by and large, 
when you play the game the way the game wants you to play and you're swimming with the current or you're running with the wind at your back the game opens up and it, it becomes very easy to streamline your attacks right but yeah let me know what you guys think i'll be back very very soon don't forget to subscribe we'll talk to you in the live stream peace